Hey everyone, what is really good? Welcome back to my vlog. <laughs> Why am I speaking like this is my first vlog ever? Anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan. If you are new here, I am an independent singer, songwriter, audio engineer, and music curator based in Toronto or whatever. And yeah, we out here. It's Tuesday. It's vlog day. <laughs> Cue the intro. <laughs> Yes, I'm vlogging, we're here, and you all may be aware of what's happening in the world right now. COVID-19, coronavirus has kind of just ruined our 2020 so far. This whole thing is just so unfortunate. And now more than ever, it is our time to really come together and work together as a society to overcome the situation. And I really do believe that we will overcome it. It's just a matter of time and a matter of if all of us do our part in helping flatten the curve, as everyone is saying. Anyway, so I've been in quarantine, self-isolating, social distancing, whatever you want to call it. I've been at home for 11 days now. I haven't gotten sick. I haven't shown any symptoms. I haven't also gotten tested, so I don't know, but I'm not sick. Uh, but anyway, I've been at home for 11 days. Honestly thought I would be bored, but I'm not. I Actually, on the first day of quarantine, I put together a to-do list of things I have to do, and it was pretty long. And I knew that I would definitely be occupied for two weeks. If it goes past two weeks, I'm not so sure, but I'm definitely occupied now. I've been working like every day at my desk, doing different things related to music or my business and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm doing well, I'm doing good, staying busy, you know. And the other important thing that I wanna say is that in addition to like, catching up on all this work I've also taken this time to relax and like just have time to myself that time you spend with yourself like solitude this has been a good time for me to refresh to relax to get enough sleep every day even though I've been sleeping at like 3 a.m but yeah so that's what's been going on in my life in this crisis so i did mention like my business that i am working on so this business is called quento sounds and you may have heard it already on these vlogs or on my instagram quento sounds is a company that i started back last year october i believe like that's when i started it uh, but i didn't really promote it as much because i was still building it up but basically what quento sounds is is a company where I'm basically offering my services, whether that be as a singer, a songwriter, a producer, or audio engineer, or a music curator, any of those things. So I offer those services through this one company called Puento Sounds. Recently, the biggest thing that we've been pushing as a company, which is basically, basically just me, what we've been pushing recently is uh, our playlist curation part of it. And the playlist creation part actually isn't just me, it's a team. Um, so I've been able to assemble a team of music curators, basically people that I feel like have really great taste in music and their taste in music is different from mine. Their knowledge in the genres that they have, it's different from what the knowledge that I have. So this small team, which includes me and then my friends, Anissa, Mark, Vidi and Amanda, we curated a bunch of playlists so far. So to date, we've released 11 playlists, plus the Sidetracks playlist, which I've been working on since last year. Yeah, it's been a really fun project to work on, and I've been using a lot of my time at home, focusing on Quenno Sounds and what we can do, and like brainstorming ideas and coming up with a branding. If you're into music or if you're into like discovering new music, or if you're looking for a playlist like of a certain genre or mood, definitely check out Queno Sounds. We do have, again, 11 playlists out now that you guys can check and they're available on Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah, it's a really cool project and we do have some fun things lined up for the rest of the year and on. So yeah, stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram, Queno Sounds, and visit our website, quentosounds.com for more info on the playlist, but also Quino Sounds as a company and what we do as a whole. Yes. <laughs> In addition to working on Quino Sounds, I've been also working on my own music. So during this time, I've actually written a new song and I posted a clip of it on my Instagram TV. Follow me on Instagram 
at Ryan RG Flores. So I posted a clip of a new song that I wrote very recently. I finished it like two nights ago and it's called Pretend or Pretend, however you want to pronounce it. And basically the song is, is inspired by being lonely in a time where you have to practice social distancing, aka right now. <laughs> and then you have that fear that once all of this is over, you like your friendships and relationships that you had with people just don't go back to the way they were. And like the idea of that came from being apart from something or not doing something for so long that you just get so used to living your life without them or without doing that thing. Yeah, I just was very like kawawa <laughs> um, in the first week of quarantine. So I got something out of it. I got a song and I really like it. And if you want to check out that clip, again, it's on my IGTV, check it out. But yeah, I've also been able, in addition to writing new music, I've been able to just like be at home and practice like singing my songs and just working on my voice and playing my guitar. And I've actually recently signed up for these free guitar lessons, shout out to Fender. And I'm actually gonna take my electric guitar out of my case that's been in there for like six months and I've never touched it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try and learn that. But yeah, I've been working on my music basically, and it's been nice. <laughs> Speaking of music, recently I was able to do a show and this show took place before this whole quarantine thing started here in Toronto but this show was a very important milestone in my music career because it was the first show that I've done that like it was the first my first <laughs> it was my first solo headlining show a lot of the shows or actually all of the shows that I've done to this point were shows that I've been part of like I've been asked to perform as part of like a list of artists whereas this was the first show where I actually like booked it myself I was the headliner and I had an opener. Yeah, it was just a very monumental moment for me. And I just want to give like a really huge thank you to everybody that came out to the show despite the circumstances. I'm so grateful for every single person that came out. It meant so much to me that all of you came and showed your support and celebrated this really great moment for me in my music career even though like the times are rough right now this was something that positive that happened to me in the last few weeks so yeah i was able to capture some footage from the show so let's insert that now This is my very first headlining solo show, and you guys are here to celebrate that. Yeah! 
So to honor that, uh, I don't know if you're aware, um, the show is called Intro to Introspective. Introspective is my upcoming full-length album. It's coming out uh, closer to the summertime, but because you guys are here now, you're going to get a little preview of what's on that album. Very exclusive. Yep, at the end there, my camera's memory card just became full. So if you wanted to see the performances, you had to be there. You had to be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad that I wasn't able to record my performances, but it's fine. We'll live with it. It's not the last show that I'm doing, so... Yeah, so before I end off, I just want to give a big shout out to a few people that helped make this show possible. I posted like a really sappy Instagram post collage thing, but I'm going to repeat the people that I shouted out there on here as well. So the first person I want to shout out is my friend Bianca. Bianca was basically the event planner for this whole thing. She was the one that reached out to the venue and a number of venues. She was the one that like stayed in communication with them, organized it, organized for us to go there and see the venue. Like, and she didn't really have to do all of this. And she basically volunteered her time to do this. So I want to give a big shout out to her because without her planning and her help, like this show wouldn't have been possible. So thank you, Bianca. I also want to give a shout out to Haley and also Arlene and Joseph. These three people were the people that were working the door and it was actually a really smooth experience at the door. Um, it wasn't like complicated or anything. So thank you to Haley and then thank you to Arlene and Joseph for like jumping in last minute, uh, helping at the door. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I also want to give a shout out to the Alpine, obviously. So the venue that we held the show at. Uh, thank you for believing in me and Denise and letting us perform in your venue. Your venue is beautiful. It's it's so cozy in there. Like it's a really nice size too. And it's a really nice venue in the junction. So if you ever are looking for a good food or like a place to watch some music, the Alpine is a great venue. Uh, so thank you to the Alpine and thank you to Andy who was our bartender for the evening. Thank you so much for your help and support in setting up the show the night of and serving everyone there. I also want to give a shout out to Denise, obviously my opener. Denise is a singer-songwriter as well. She was able to share some of her original music at the show and and she was also one of the producers on Introspective, so my album. Uh, so shout out to her. Thank you so much for her agreeing to be my opener and for also sharing your unreleased songs with us. Bruh, I can't wait. To hear your next album and lastly i want to give a shout out to daniel daniel was the one who took photos and captured the evening really nicely i'm going to post a few photos in here now thank you daniel for taking the time to come out and document this monumental event in my life for me the photos obviously look great yes yes thank you guys so much for helping to make this show possible. And last but not least, thank you to everyone again who came out to the show and showed their support. You guys meant the world to me while I was on stage. So thank you so much for being there with me. I really appreciate it. So part of the reason why I'm doing this video too is to update you on what is gonna be happening with my vlogs, which kind of sounds like a negative introductory into that. But basically what's happening to the vlogs is they will not be weekly anymore. Sad face. And the reasons for that are number one, I have no more content. <laughs> I mean, low key, that is one of the reasons. But the bigger reason is I will be editing a documentary over the next few months. And this documentary is basically the documentary for my album in Introspective, my upcoming full length album. So over the last year and a half, I've been documenting some footage of how this album was being made basically and that's what this documentary is about is to document how the album was made the people behind it uh, the amount of work that we put into it the victories and the hurdles that we experience over the course of making this album and overall just telling my story of how i made this album and how i got to where i am now as an artist overall so yeah i can't wait to get this documentary video out there to you guys. But in order for me to do that, I kind of have to dedicate a lot of time to put together all of the video clips and to edit it. So 
that is why I will not be posting weekly vlogs anymore on this channel. But I will still be posting once a month. The last Tuesday of every month, I will still post my Sidetracks playlist vlog. So there's that. So you'll still see me, just not every week. I'm gonna use the time that I would spend editing my vlogs weekly to start editing this documentary. And I'm so excited to get started on it because I haven't seen a lot of the clips in a while. So I'm gonna be opening all of them up and watching them again. And yeah, I'm so excited to go in and edit this thing and then get it out to y'all and for me to share, be able to share my story. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. The documentary should be coming out after the album release. So the album release right now is going to come out in the summer and then the documentary will come out in the late summer or early fall. Uh, depending on where we are at with the editing process. But yes, there are great things to come in 2020 and I'm so excited. And despite the situation we're all in now, I still am optimistic and I'm still hopeful that like we'll, we'll come out of this. And we will come out of it. So until we do, stay safe, wash your hands, and don't panic buy, especially toilet paper. Like I never understood that. But don't panic buy toilet paper or anything. Um, hashtag Tabo. Thank you guys so much for watching this week and for listening to me like ramble on and talk about <laughs> my life. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash rfloresvlogs and give this video a like. Turn on that bell for notifications whenever I post a new video on this channel. And we will end this vlog off with some clips from the documentary or clips that will be in the documentary. Yeah. See you guys next week in the playlist vlog. All right, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>